All right, let's dive into what Hover Air is cooking up with their latest creation, the Aqua. It's a whole new direction for them. Forget the usual palm-sized self-flying drones. This thing's clearly made for bigger adventures, lakes, docks, open water, the kind of places that would normally send other drones straight to heaven. The first thing that jumps out, that bold orange ring around it, it's not just for looks, though it definitely stands out. Um, it's meant to be highly visible in open water. So if the drone drifts away, you're not scanning for a tiny gray dot. That bright orange will catch your eye right away. Then there's this little screen up top, right below the word hover. It looks like a status display, maybe even a mini viewfinder. That means less time fiddling with your phone and more of a turn it on and go kind of experience feels like they're aiming for ultimate plug and play convenience here. Now here's what might really set the aqua apart. It looks like it can take off from water. We're not 100% sure yet, but the design definitely points in that direction. And if that's the case, it's a big deal. Most drones treat water like instant death, but this one seems built for it. Hover Air seems to have tuned the propellers to handle the added drag of a water surface, whether it's a still lake or a bit of chop. The blades appear to have a fixed pitch, so their angle doesn't adjust mid-flight, and it runs on a classic quadcopter setup, four props, two spinning clockwise and two counterclockwise, working together to keep things smooth and stable. Think about it. Taking off from land is one thing, but lifting off from a wobbly draggy water surface, that takes serious torque. These aren't your average drone blades, they're likely wider and engineered to push through water resistance without tipping over, and of course the whole thing would need to be sealed tight no exposed electronics waiting to get fried. And also worth noting, there's a companion beacon, um, kind of like the one DJI teased but never released. Honestly, this feels like Hover Air saying, we're done playing in the selfie drone sandbox. We're coming for DJI. And with DJI dealing with all kinds of import issues in the US, the timing couldn't be better. So yeah, the Hover Air Aqua, uh, bright orange, potentially water launchable, easy to spot, and not afraid to get wet. Uh, if DJI wasn't paying attention before, they probably are now. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.